Hello, friends. I'm Alex. Alex, the introvert. Today, we are going to be traveling to Mexico. Now, before we start the actual video, we're going to see if you know some of these facts about Mexico. First, do you know that Mexico is south of the United States? Also, did you know that Mexico is the third largest country in Latin America? It is also home of the most Spanish-speaking people. Now we're going to get started into the video of the least toured places in Mexico. They are entertaining and fun. The Palacio de Bellas Artes. Now, it's also pronounced in English as the Palace of Fine Arts. Built in 1934, it is a performance space where there's operas, large mural. Some of the paintings that's in the Palace of Fine Arts are paintings by great artists as Diego Rivera and Roberto Montenegro, just to name a few. The Palace of Fine Arts is also home to the National Museum of Architecture and the National Theater in Mexico. San Francisco de Capiche. Please forgive me if I pronounced it wrong, but I really want you to know a little bit about San Francisco de Capiche. It used to be a necessary port city on the Yucatan Peninsula in trading salt and dye wood. Here in San Francisco de Capiche, you will see mariachi bands, some exciting and rarely seen animals like owl monkeys. It is a colonial city, very colorful, very artistic, and very, very creative. And I think that everyone in your family will love it. Another great place that I think you and your family will love is the Monumento a la Revolución, or in English, the Monument to the Revolution. The Monument to the Revolution was opened in 1938. It's the tallest arch in the world. It is 220 feet high. Can you imagine how tall that is? Originally, it was planned to be a legislative government building but I'm glad that they changed it. Now, we can enjoy it as tourists and the Mexican people can enjoy it daily. It also houses a mausoleum. And in the mausoleum, there are presidents and rebels buried there. In addition to the mausoleum, there is an art exhibit and a museum called the National Museum of the Revolution. Another great attraction that I think the family would enjoy in Mexico is the Pyramid of the Sun. It is the third largest pyramid in the world. It was built in 200 AD by Mesoamericans. The Pyramid of the Sun was used by Aztec people in various rituals. It is a great tourist attraction that is used today. Now to my favorite, favorite, favorite topic and that is food. Some of my favorite Mexican food are enchiladas, tacos, and guacamole. Now, in this video, I'm just going to concentrate on those because I know those a little bit. But there are a variety of food for everyone. And there are so many Mexican dishes that I would love to try, especially tamales. Now, enchiladas are dishes that could be used as a main dish 
or it could be a great appetizer, especially if you're having a large family gathering. They're light and they're not heavy on your stomach so you can go plain as soon as you get through eating. Another great dish that I love and that is tacos. I love beef tacos, I love chicken tacos, and I love seafood tacos. And with tacos, you can add different things to them like tomatoes, uh, bell peppers, onions, or you can just use salsa and cheese. My favorite is beef tacos with lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese, but I also like chicken tacos with cheese and salsa. Now, for guacamole, you can mix your tomatoes, your onions together, your avocados. So depending on what you like, that's what you add to your guacamole. You can even eat your guacamole with tortilla chips or with your tacos. It's whatever you like. The sky is the limit when it comes to your food. Experiment, experiment, experiment with your food to get what you like. Now it's time to talk about some fun attractions that kids love, like Six Flags Mexico City. Everyone loves a great theme park with lots and lots of roller coasters, right? There is an interactive museum in Mexico City as well. In addition to Six Flags, Kid Mania, and the interactive museum, there is also an aquarium in Mexico City that you would love to go to. I don't know about you, but I love learning about all of sea life, like jellyfish, sharks, manta rays, stingrays, and penguins. They have all of that in Mexico City at the aquarium. I hope that you enjoy traveling with me to Mexico. I can't wait to see where we go to next. But stay tuned, we'll have another Traveling with Alex video. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, click the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the latest Alex the Introvert videos. Bye-bye.